All right, here's a quick video of how to do an Excel uh, indented export of a bill of materials from Arena. Um, I'm going to go, uh, so this is the dashboard, but regardless of what shows up there first, I've obviously just run through this a couple of times to make sure I'm not uh, screwing it up on video. Uh, so here you go. This is the top level for the arm box assembly for the HF580. I'm just going to go into the Bill of Materials tab right here, and that's going to pull up this bomb. I have this kind of, normally these will probably come up uh, not expanded, so you'll just see that top level, and you'll see a bunch of sub-assemblies, which all have uh, many parts underneath them. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this Actions tab, and I'm going to say Export. Now. I'm going to switch this to Excel, and when I select Bomb Export, these all light up. You can change uh, the settings, uh, and I find sometimes if you don't go through it step by step every time, even if you don't change anything, it doesn't get you. There's no Save or Next button down here like there usually is in Arena, so I just go ahead to Configure Settings, then Export. and this is how I have the settings configured. I don't care who owns the part or when it was, I don't care about any of that nonsense. But I do set it up exploded where it's indented, right? Every part is going to be shown, uh, not flattened, not single level. Then I go down here, I'm going to configure the views. Again, you have some options to change whether you're going to see the number, the name, the revision, the, you know, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, sourcing view. You know, uh, we can probably blow some of this away. The table gets quite large. And, you know, the sourcing stuff, you can leave it if you really want. Then you get down to the bottom here, and you hit Export. It'll kind of show you at the bottom. It's waiting for app.bomb.com to make it happen. Well, what happened? Nothing showed up down here. Obviously, it didn't go to my down. Well, here's what happened. You have to go back to your email because Arena knows your email and it's going to email you the bomb. And I'm going to open it up and here it is. Your export is available. And if we shoot back over here to Arena, let's try to do this as elegantly as possible. I'm just going to go back to the home screen and it's going to show me all of the items that are available. So zip format. This is the latest one that I just did. 119. Oh, that's California time, I think. Uh, it's not 119 here. It's 420 in New Jersey. So now we're downloading it, scanning it. It's going to come up in a zip file. Once that's done doing its biz, I'm going to just drag it out of here. I'm going to make sure that I have a look. At everything that pops up here again that should and here's what comes out item number and name it's going to have the revision also remember a lot of these up top here are HF 475 70 parts and then we just go down uh, wrist ball assembly this is also new uh, I've made some modifications for the 580 and And there you have it.